Today, Jesus is willing to touch and heal each one of us. And he does that through the church. And in a special way, through the sacrament of confession. In today's Gospel, we read about a leper who kneels down and begs Jesus to heal him. Leprosy was a deadly skin disease and there was no cure for leprosy in ancient times. Lepers were tagged as unclean people. Unclean not only physically but also spiritually. Because there was a false belief that every case of leprosy was a divine punishment for personal sins. As a result, lepers were excluded from the social and religious life of Israel. They were not allowed to go closer to anybody, including their family members. They had to live outside the community along with other lepers. But Jesus, out of his compassion for the sick and the suffering, reaches across this division between clean and the unclean. He decides to break the dividing wall by the power of his holiness. The Lord stretched out his hand and touched the leper. And the leper was healed by the divine touch of Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, God has created us in his own image and likeness so that we may know him and love him above all things. We have a God who is our source of love, peace and joy in our life. But when we look deep into our own life and if we are sincere about ourselves, we will surely find a spiritual leprosy within us. A leprosy of lust, a leprosy of selfishness, a leprosy of unforgiveness, unfaithfulness and so on. We often neglect spiritual and holy practices such as prayer, self-denial and detachment from the things of this world. What happens when we break the commandments of God and when we refuse to pay attention to the voice of our own conscience is we lose our inner peace and happiness. We may try to put on a mask and fool the people around us, telling them how happy and content we are. But deep down, when we look into our own hearts, we know our true self. We find ourselves in guilt, sadness and anxiety. However, the good news is this, we need not continue to live in darkness because the light of the world has come. We have Jesus, our Lord and Healer, to cleanse us from our sins and to offer us a new life. We read in the Gospel of John chapter 3, verse 17, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Today, Jesus is willing to touch and heal each one of us and he does that through the church and in a special way through the sacrament of confession. In the first letter of John, chapter 1 verse 9, it is written, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and justice to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So let us draw closer to him and experience his divine touch, a touch of love, peace and joy. Amen.